Hi everyone, this is just a brief video to speak about the weak force. There's not a whole lot to say. Uh, it turns out the weak force is actually relatively complex. The only thing I really want to say about it is that the weak force is typically related to radioactivity, and that's where particles break down. And so in the proton, proton, uh, proton chain, what we saw is this process here in the first thermonuclear reaction. What we had was a proton combining with a proton through a, the nuclear reaction one. We get a particle came, that came out of that, which was a proton and neutron. Now, since there's only one proton in that particle, we know it must be hydrogen. That's the type. But the name of this is deuterium. Just the name of an isotope of hydrogen. And then we also had another particle come out of this in order to balance the mass and to balance the charge. And this was a particle that had a plus charge because we need to have two plus. There's only one plus there. That's plus. We also needed to balance the mass. We couldn't emit another proton because we start out with three times the ma uh, excuse me, two times the mass of a proton right here. If that was a proton, we'd end up with three times the mass. That's impossible. So this particle here turns out to be. Uh, let's see. Let's actually use the right color. Too many pins here, guys. So what we have here is a positron. And again, what a positron is, is an anti-matter electron. And so an anti-matter electron has the mass of an electron. I could ask that of you. The mass of a positron has the mass of an electron, but a positive charge, whereas electrons have its mass and a negative charge. So this is an antimatter electron. And when we looked at this, what we realized that some of the properties before was not completely balanced in the reaction. So this meant that a new particle had to come out. And as an interesting particle, the ghost particle. That's the Greek letter nu. We want to say nu. You're so cute. And so this guy is the neutrino. And remember, how many types of neutrinos are there? There's three types total. And so the weak force is related to a bunch of these reactions. So the weak force is related to how the one proton breaks down into a neutron. So remember that this here is a neutron plus a positron plus the neutrino. A lot of work was done in the 60s and 70s in regards to the weak force, and it turned out that Nobel Prizes were awarded for actually combining two forces, and that force was the weak force and the electric force. And so the, the unification is what we say. We have the unification of two forces. That means combining them into the electrical weak force, well beyond the scope of this class to do much more than just wave my hands. So, uh, you know, at the origins of the universe, right after the Big Bang, we think that all four fundamental forces were unified into one single super force. So one of the big goals that uh, physicists have been working on for a long time 
even from Einstein over, was trying to combine all the four fundamental forces into one unified force. So this was the beginning, the unification of the electric and the weak force, very high level theory. And that's basically all I'm going to say to you regarding this particular force. So I just uh, wanted to make sure we had this. So guys, talk with you soon. Bye-bye.